Whoa, what's in the box? I hope it's the giant masterpiece acorn that I sent away for. It's either that or a giant influencer gift pack from Stickbot. Stickbot? Uh-oh, watch the lights. Those monkeys can get out of control fast. No kidding. Better get Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel out here fast. He's the best box opener we have. Landry. Landry? Landry? Did you already fall asleep for the winter? Oh boy. Alright, squirrels, in all seriousness, let's let's find out what's in the rest of this box. I mean, this isn't the best part, is it? The bedding? I'll be vacuuming for weeks. All right, Barry, get us the first item. You got it. Whoa. Oh, cool. It's one of those StickBot Action Pack Roleplay Accessory Packs where you get a cool StickBot and a bunch of different hats and hair pieces. I think I took a look at this about a year ago, but with a different color set of hats. So this is kind of neat. I like these hats. They're a little more realistic with the brown and the black and even the red on the brain casing. Looks pretty disgusting. That will be well worth animating. There's also that spiffy helmet pack, weapon pack, and lifestyles pack. These are really great for customizing your stick bot. And another gold stick bot. They're the best. That's right. Making your stick bot great again. Believe me. Ah, thanks for that stick bot, Trump. Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel, are you still in there? Hello. Come on, bring something else out. Hello. Ah, looky there, we have a pink stick bot. I think this might be the first solid stick bot that I have in the collection. Although, I might have seen one with one of those studio packs. This pink one is really bright. Would probably animate out really nicely on a green screen. That's one to look for. Well, what else is in the box? I'll give it a go. Aha, nice. Thanks, big gray squirrel. Oh, and there's one of those StickBot Animal Studio packs. The squirrels and I actually took a look at this pack a few months back. This is a great starter kit. You get a StickBot, you get a hard to find StickBot pet, and you get one of those tripods that pretty much hold any electronic device. Nice little backdrop. These are great sets. I might have to figure out how to give this one away. What else is in there? Hey Landry, let's go get something else. A squirrel sleepwalking. Alright, what do we got here? Oh look at there, it's a stick dog. <laughs> Ah yes, the stick dog. There's a couple different types of dog. There's the stick bulldog and then the regular stick dog. This looks like the regular stick dog. Bulldog has a flatter nose on the front and maybe shorter legs. I'm not really sure. I don't think I've opened a stick bulldog yet. Uh, stick dog here though in red. Always fun with the stick bot pets. The back here the stick dog is having a little adventure with the stick horse. Very fun. Okay, Barry, you're up. I got this. Ooh, interesting. Looks like Barry has unboxed a StickBot notepad. Journal of sorts. Very recyclable. Uh, look at that. StickBot head on the front, StickBot logo, and some pages of uh, lined note-taking ability. This would be great for, say, 
when you're working on one of those super complicated stick bot uh, stop motion animations where you have a lot of things going on you can kind of write down what's going on your checklist what to do next a lot of technical things in stop motion very nice alright what else is in this huge box go for it blueberry I'm strawberry What do we got here? Well, look at there. It's a stickbot t shirt. A red stickbot t shirt with a big stickbot head on there. Hmm, interesting. I'll get the next one. Thanks, Strawberry. I'm, I'm Blueberry. Oh, that is heavy. Another t shirt. Ah, nice. Very bright red. There we go, another StickBot logo on the front. I'm going to have to find someone big enough for those. Maybe the Raptors will wear it. Alright, what's next? <laughs> Crazy Dave. <laughs> Just like Crazy Dave to bring out the crazy StickBot pet Stick Monkey. These guys are totally crazy, but if you're careful, they could be great toys. Let's open this one up. I always like these reusable backdrops at the back of these packages. Ah, there we go. Now the thing about the stick monkey is you've got to hold on to them tight because if you don't... Oh, no. We're not getting him down from there. I think there's still a few things in this box. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, mysterious white and blue squirrel. Everyone is really curious about you. What's your name? I guess doesn't want to talk. What have you found, mysterious white and blue squirrel? Ah, look at that! It's a stickbot bag! These are really nice for the quick on-the-go toy run. Looks like I could fit a few stickbots in there. Very shiny. Nice! Well, there can't be too much more in that box. Hopefully some more bedding! It's too big! I need help with this one! Alright, alright, hang on. On three, one! one. Two, three! Gee, you squished my abdomen, why don't ya? Ah, uh, check it out. It's one of the great StickBot's animation studio kit. It's funny, I've been playing with StickBots for well over a year now, and I've never picked up one of these animation studio kits. This is the real deal for some green screen stop motion stuff, too. The box opening up to a great little studio display with two nice, brightly solid StickBots, a red and an orange. Both should stand out really clearly on green screen. And another phone tripod. This is definitely the pack to get when you're diving into the stickbot stop motion animation stuff. The magic changing screen. On the back of the box, the contents of this set. Two in one Z screen stages, so a blue and a green one it looks like. Stickbots want to act in your creations. Simply pose them for a photo or download our free mobile app Zing Studio for iOS and Android begin sharing your own creations with StickBot on your favorite social media. Wow, look at all those awards. They've done a tremendous job. You okay, StickBot Trump? I'm working on it. So a great pack to test and work with. Definitely one to look for. And also a pretty reasonable deal too in the toy aisle. Okay. I think we're down to one last item in the box. Landry, would you like to do the honors? Totally awesome. It looks like this is. It's the epic Stickbot Pirate Movie Set. Whoa, huge, huge pirate ship, huge island display, cannons, sharks, jewels, treasure. 
plus a stick bot pirate and all sorts of accessories. Also, stick on clothes. This thing is the real deal. Wow. On the back of the box, contents galore. Bring your imagination to life with StickBot movie sets. Download our free mobile app, Zing StickBot Studio, to start creating your stop motion movie, then share your masterpiece with StickBot for all your friends to see. This set looks to contain many adventure. A ship with a walk the plank. Play inside the pirate ship, command the helm, row the boat, cannon the cannon, discover the treasure, flip over for cliff. Looks like an epic adventurous crazy animation studio. Let's look a little bit closer and see some of these things inside. Okay, inside the box we have an instruction guide sheet on how to construct the set. A lot of foam core pieces here. Lots of steps to take note. Pretty big uh, display to set up. Here would be some of the pieces. That must be the main ocean plate. That's pretty nice. That's nice and wide. Should give your camera a lot of area to work with. Starfish down there. So this would be just the beach it looks like. And here would be your cliff. Rocky cliff, the grass over it. Very cool. Pieces of pirate ship to pop out. Lots of pieces. Hopefully this foam core will hold up. So far it's looking pretty tight. I think you'll be okay with it. And more of the boat. There's the giant ship right there. Stick bot. Looks good. <laughs> And we have a StickBot costumes. This is kind of new for StickBot. Some stickers to place onto any generic StickBot, I believe. Uh, we've got faces to decorate them with and all sorts of cool garb looking cool. And maybe some stickers to place elsewhere too. And the StickBot Pirate. Let's look at this guy a little closer. StickBot Pirate already wearing some stickers. Uh, looks like they stick on pretty well. It's that kind of nice transparent sticker kind of really shiny stuff going on and dressing this red stick. This is, must be Captain Red Stick I believe and all sorts of gear. Looks like some of these items I've seen from the accessory packs but that's okay because it's good to have another gun and a side that just flew out. Nice sword. I love the big weapons like the axe. These are fun to animate because they take up so much screen. Good stuff. Oh, and of course, the hook. And a small knife. And to use the hook, I believe we're gonna use one of these uh, little clip add-ons. So you just kinda fit on over the cup like so, and then you can fit on the hook. I don't believe you can fit the hook on with suction. That would be like the greatest suction feat of all time. But yeah, just kind of clip it onto there. That seems to do its work. Ooh, I like the crossbow. And there would be your pirate captain. Well, let's build up the display and check it out. We have successfully pieced together the StickBot Pirate movie set. Yarg, what a location shot. I did not construct everything as I don't really see the need for two rowboats on this movie set. So I just built that one. I like the little oars on this thing. I built just one of the tree sets and one of the cannons. The cannon's pretty fun. We have a blast we can add to it for an effect. Although it can get a little tippy, so watch out. We have sharks as well, and I think there's two sharks. Treasure chest full of coins. And I've got jewels all over the beach here. 
As for the main pirate ship, pretty big. This thing was a little bit tricky to build at first. Fairly sturdy for foam core. You just have to be patient when building it. Sometimes those little notches and holes get stuck when pressing them into each other and can cause some headaches. But if you take some time and maybe have a small hobby knife with you, you should be able to build the boat pretty well. And inside view too, so you can kind of do a double scene of an inside shot and an outside shot. I'm liking the outside shot, as long as the tree doesn't go with it. As for Stickbot Captain, you can place wherever and act out all sorts of things. But the sets being so light, you might need to tape them down at times if you really want a solid stop motion. Err, matey! Who's going to walk the plank? Well, I dressed up Pinky Stickbot with a little shirt. How about Pinky Stickbot? Now enjoy Davy Jones' locker! <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Stickbot Pirate. I think for some of the best results, though, maybe use most of these props as backdrops and find a nice solid tabletop that you can stick to and not worry about knocking over little pieces. There's enough props, accessories, and mayhem with the pirate movie set. You should be all set for trouble. Ugh. Just watch out for those pesky stickbot monkeys that are up on your lamps. So that would be the end of the amazing stickbot gift box. That was a ton of awesome Stickbot product. A big thank you to Stickbot for letting us show this off today. What was your favorite item, Landry? Ah, it has to be the Stickbot grass. It's so comfy. I mean the Stickbot monkey. The Stickbot monkey. He's so cool. Don't hit me. Please, don't hit me. I'm still going for the Stickbot pet studio. That thing's a blast. Totally, Barry. Totally. Oh, and the Stickbot monkey, too. Yeah, the stickbot monkey is pretty cool. <laughs> stickbot, you create, you animate, you share. On store shelves, 2017, all sorts of stores, Walmart, Toys R Us, Target. You should be able to find one at many locations. There is a multitude of stickbot choices. Still, one of my favorites is the Stickbot Pet Studio, and the Stickbot Action Packs are perfect for accessories. And of course, all you really need is one Stickbot single pack to start you off on some crazy Zing Zanimation Studios fun. That's what I have to say about that. And I have some of that green squirrel bedding too. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. Okay, tiny chipmunk squirrel, you tore out that gaping hole in the box. Can you patch it up and get everything back inside?